Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, I just want to complain about my life. Life is harder, it's getting harder every, every day. And it's because of my new role. I feel that I am stressed, burnout, overwhelmed, and lost as a cloud security engineer. It's just like four months I have this role and I already feel all of them, the stress, the burnout, the loss and overwhelm. How it's possible to become stress, overwhelm, burnout and loss just within four months? It is possible because there's so many things that I need to learn. There is um, a lot of exam that I want to pass, which is it's ridiculous, stupid that I believe that I should pass the Azure Cloud Solution Architect next month. So no. I also need to learn about the cloud security, about DevSecOps, which is SaaS, DAS, and a lot of other things. Also need to master the security framework, such as the twenty-seven thousand one NIST, Mitre Attack, OWASP, and that's a long list. I feel so lost. It's because there's no mentor. I don't have mentor. I don't have someone to tell me where should I start to learn all of these technologies, all of this framework. It's really overwhelmed. And unfortunately, I don't have that support from my colleague as well, because the majority of uh, my colleagues, they are focusing on GRC compared to cloud security i could say like maybe there's only two people including me in my department that focusing on cloud security <sighs> i also feel imposter syndrome i feel that i'm not capable to do this work it's because i feel that i'm not technical enough i don't have enough knowledge I'm slow in learning. I feel that ah, I am a woman. <laughs> I don't know. I shouldn't feel that it, it's a problem with my gender. I don't think it shouldn't be a problem, but I feel that way. I feel that ah, there is also too much goals that I want to achieve in a short period of time, such as in five years, I want to become cloud security architect, including DevSecOps. Ooh, scary. I also want to buy a big house. I want to buy my dream car. I want to have six figure salaries. I also want to go travel around the world. And I want to have 11 cats, maybe 15. <laughs> maybe in United States, earning six figures is common there. It's a lot easier to achieve compared to UK because I'm based in UK, I'm based in England, six figures is so difficult. And it's, that's a lot of money. That is really a lot of money here. Even half of six figures is considering as above average of the salary in England, which is maybe I'm greedy. Maybe I watch too much. Maybe it was about get these six figures roles within six months with our boot camps. I watch too much Instagram reels about the lavish lifestyle, branded bag, expensive car. I don't know. Maybe it's also changed the way I think about happiness in my life. I'm thinking now that if I want to be happy, I need to earn more money, which is it's not true. It is not true. I'm trying to work in on it with my mentality now. I feel that what's happened with my brain and my mental, it's not right now. There's so many information, so many technology to learn, and so many aspects that it's affecting my life. I try to fix this with make a baby steps, which is create a small list objective that I need to achieve this year 
before I make like really long list about what I need to achieve in one year and after that what I need to achieve in three years, five years, ten years and I realized that technology is changing a lot in a year so from now on I'm just gonna make like a small objective small technology that I want to learn in one year next year I will make another objectives I will not make a long-term plan because I don't know sometimes I'm thinking that if cloud security engineer is a perfect role for me as you can see I'm just like four months in these roles and I'm already cuckoo <laughs> so I don't want to close my door for uh, this opportunity I also thinking about move to DevOps or uh, move as the front end maybe or stay as a cloud security engineer or even go back as a cloud administrator or cloud engineer just doing the administrative work in the cloud environment which is also a good work to do i also realized that mental health is so important i need to balance my study my work and also my hobbies I love doing archery in, in the weekend, maybe I need to do that more often and study reasonably, not studying too much and also work just from 9 to 5 not taking any overtime, I'm not working overtime I really try to manage just work from 9 to 5 and that's it and also I need to stop comparing myself to other people Everyone journey is different and I shouldn't compare my journey to my colleague or to my friend's journey or comparing my salary to my friend's salary comparing about what tools that I learn now and what tools what they learn now because everyone has a different journey and a different objective to achieve I also need to be kind to myself I need to give like a self reward every week because I realized that I'm so harsh with myself it's not good please don't don't do this to yourself I always tell myself that you're so stupid see you're so stupid you need to work harder you need to learn harder if you not learn harder you will not be successful that's what I always repeat every morning in the front of the mirror in the bathroom to myself but I realized that it's really bad for my mental health <laughs> being rushed to yourself is, is not it's not gonna fix anything some people call me lazy some people call me slow learner it's okay it's because everyone is different it's okay that if you learn a little bit slower as compared to others it's fine it's okay no problem I just need to be focused to small objective lists and stop watching Instagram reels. <laughs> it's really wasting of time. <laughs> I could stay there for like hours just to see like stupid videos. <sighs> I know it's not only me. A lot of people also do the same thing, right? And that it's the end of my video. Thank you so much to listen to my complaining <laughs> to my moaning and I hope in the next video I will be in the better situation mentally physically and see you again in the next video when? I don't know <laughs> but thank you for watching <laughs>